Saturday morning around 8.30. It's our most busiest time in the house. We do laundry, we're washing clothes, we're also about to eat, so we have the stove on. Just want to give you a graphic to show you how much power we are using in our house with this app that I have on the power wall. Right now we're using 8.3% kilowatt. We're getting uh, about 0 0.7 kilowatts from the solar is feeding into the house, but also the straight line down here is also feeding into the power wall because we used a power wall last night. Welcome to another edition of Don't Waste Your Time. This video may not be for you. This is the Tesla Powerwall update. It has been uh, 13 months since I've had my Powerwall installed and some of my friends have asked me, is it really worth getting a Powerwall? And the tough short answer is maybe, you know, I mean, it really depends on each house. It's like asking the question, is it really worth it getting an EV? It just depends if you use it a lot, you know, over a course of time, you are going to save money. So the short answer is yes, but again, maybe, you know, uh, my wife and I are the only two people here in this 3000 square foot house. So we don't use a lot of power. Most of the time, 80% of our house is dark because we're not using a lot of energy. Now, if you have kids, if you have elderly, you're gonna use power quite a bit. You're gonna be running a lot of AC. You're gonna be running a lot of heat. Kids will be watching a lot of TV. It's just my wife and I. I'm normally down in the basement. My, my wife is normally upstairs and the middle floor is sometimes completely dark because there's no sense on having lights. So again, it just really depends on you. I received my Powerwall in November, 2019 and I went into my email and I looked at a comparison of pre-Powerwall and post-Powerwall electrical bills. And this is from the Southern Maryland Electrical Company that you see on the screen. First off, you see that I was charged in this billing statement for 34 days. I just wanna be upfront with you. Down here where I'm pointing at from October 19th, 2018, I was charged $91.40. Fast forward a year later, got the power wall installed, and then fast forward two years, you will see here that on October 19th of 2020, I was charged $29.16. But up top here, I only was charged 31 days. So it's a three-day difference of my billing cycle. So is that does that have something to do with it between $90 and $29? I don't know. I mean, probably not, but I'm just showing you a comparison of two bills in a span of a three year period. So you can draw your own conclusions.